Hey guys, so uh, I've got a big stack of PlayStation 1 demo discs here, um, all from the official UK PlayStation magazine, which is a magazine I used to uh, subscribe to back in the day. Um, I've got all the way from disc 1 up to, well, uh, I think about 80 altogether. Um, but anyway, let's start playing through some of these, uh, hopefully reliving some old memories, finding some, perhaps, dare I say it, hidden gems. Um, got all the paper sleeve ones to start with, uh, which I think gets up to about 19. Uh, I'm sure we won't get through them all in this session, but if it's um, well, if it proves popular, I'll do more. Um, chances are I'll do more anyway, because obviously I'm only a small-time streamer, and uh, yeah, I wanted to play through these, so why not play through them on stream? Um, if you do join the chat, obviously say hello. Um, I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions or chat with you guys. Always happy to uh, interact if and when possible. So we're going to start with uh, official UK PlayStation Magazine CD Disc 1. Um, this one has, well, come to the front cover, it's got Wipeout, Rolling Demo, Nova Storm, Playable Levels, Discworld, Playable Demo, Lemmings, Playable Levels, Crazy Ivan video footage, Destruction Derby rolling demo, Assault Rigs video sequence, and a VCD light show, whatever that is. So let's put this in. Um, I'm working on a very old PlayStation of mine, which I've had for a long time. Um, it's multi region, that's kind of why I've kept it around, but it's definitely on its last legs. Uh, if it does decide to die, or if the video footage is just completely unusable, then I will get another one and carry on. <laughs> uh, you can get these for about 20 quid from CEX so they're not exactly expensive consoles and um, they come with, I think they come with a two year guarantee from CEX so just keep getting them until they <laughs> until they last really. Um, so anyway this is the first disc it has that classic um, button in the screen. Looks like yeah all the games on here are by Psygnosis by the look of things. So, we might as well just start in order. This wipeout is listed on the front of the cover as a rolling demo. Music's pretty cool, by the way. I'll let the music play for a little bit, actually. Um, but yeah, wipeout's listed as a rolling demo, so. Yeah, probably just gameplay footage. Uh, may even just be a video. Uh, I guess we'll see in a few moments. Oh! Okay, looks like I don't get a choice. It's going to kick me already into the uh, Destruction Derby rolling demo. That's interesting. So if you just leave it, it goes into an attract mode. In that case, I might just leave it and get through all the rolling demos and play the playable ones afterwards. So this is Destruction Derby. Now, I was a bit of a late, uh, a bit late into the PS1 era, and I didn't get my PS1 until Destruction Derby 2 uh, was just about to launch. So I missed quite a few of the early games, um, but I was pretty much an addict from that point onwards. I think the first PlayStation magazine I got, oh, let's have a look through these. Maybe, maybe 10, something like that. I'm not sure actually. So yeah, the original De Destruction Derby, I didn't play much of. It's like there's some um, interference on the side of the screen there, that might be caused by my capture software. I'm not sure. I do vaguely remember this in uh, Rolling Demo actually. So I must have seen it somewhere. I don't think I ever had this one of official UK PlayStation magazine. Yeah, I'm not sure what that um, garbage is on the right hand side of the screen. I know that uh, I'm using this through a sync strike um, to 
go onto my projector, which is what I use for most of my retro gaming, uh, which is an old a school projector actually, not old school, an old projector from a school. Um, so yes, yeah, sometimes it does have run into problems like it doesn't like interlaced graphics at all. The um, the memory card screen that we were on a few minutes ago didn't go <laughs> go down too well. Anyway, that looks like the rolling demo for Destruction Derby is maybe finished. Let's see if it goes on to another rolling demo. If it does the same one, obviously I'll quit out and uh, put something else on. But yeah, I've never <laughs> didn't realise that demo discs actually had an attract mode. There you go, you learn something every day. I say I didn't realize. I'm, I'm sure as a kid I probably messed around. I mean, them discs were my main source of entertainment as a youngster. Uh, couldn't afford the games because they were really expensive for a kid. Um, whereas the monthly subscription to a magazine was much more reasonable. So this is Crazy Ivan. This one's listed as video footage. Crazy Ivan's a game that me and my friends enjoyed playing, kind of almost for its campness. Like the voice acting was terrible. You are crazy. But that's what made it fun. If you like the terrible voice and video actors from uh, Command and Conquer, you'll definitely like the ones in Crazy Ivan. I think this got released as a long box in America. We never got long boxes over here, as far as I'm aware. Wow, that was a very quick video sequence. So let's see what comes on next. And then hopefully it's just going to cycle all the videos and then I'll get to play some games. playing on my original PS1 because I've heard that some of these discs don't work well on a PS3 um, so I might as well put it through the original PS1 and uh, my capture system accepts VGA which is what my projector actually outputs so mostly works okay but let me know if there is any issues I'll probably be streaming for a couple of hours tonight. So this is, what's this one? Nova Storm. So this one's actually listed as playable levels. But I guess there's a video as well. Well, I have no idea what's going on here. Now that I know there's a track bars on these uh, discs, I'm probably going to have to do this on all the discs. So we'll spend the first few minutes looking at the track mods. And then play the games afterwards. Oh, this looks... I don't know if it's just my eyes, but this looks, looks terrible. If you've played this, let me know. Hopefully I'll get a chance to play this one later. But yeah, it just looks like, a, it almost looks like a Sega CD game. Just a video background with 2D sprites over the top. I feel like we might be stuck in a video loop now. I might have to quit out of this and just try playing one of these games. Because this just seems to be looping now. Um, if, it's, if it does it... Oh, no, it's kicked out now. I was going to say, if it does it again, I'll, um, I'll kick it out and do it myself. Am I going back to the menu? Yes. 
So that one wasn't listed as a, a video on the front of the CD sleeve, which is interesting. The other videos that are listed are Wipeout, Salt Rigs, and VCD is listed as a light show, which I'm guessing is the sound to light in the bottom right corner there. So we're going for 10 minutes and I've not played a game yet. Oh, Discworld. Well, that definitely. Sorry, I didn't see which game it selected. It looks like Discworld, which is interesting. So this one's listed as playable demo as well. So maybe this is also part of the track mode. And Discworld is a game I'm very familiar with. I adored this game. Uh, played it. Played it through a few times. Um, one of my favourite adventure games, if not my favourite adventure game actually. In a second hand set of dimensions, in an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Maybe it's just going to play through the intro. Somewhere in darkest Ankh-Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. Apologies if you can hear the uh, fan in my room, by the way. It's uh, really hot in here. Damn, I love this game. And yes, this intro is as jerky as that, even on the actual full release of the game. I think the PC version might be a bit better, but the audio has always been terrible on the PlayStation version from memory. I'll see you again next week for my usual special. I'm just going to turn the sound up a bit. Where are you going? See you soon. This bit with the flies is especially bad for the audio. From memory. Get on. Leave me alone. Damnation, you don't clear out to help me. I'm. What? Oh, just bugger off. <laughs> That's better. On nights like this, I could just murder a good cunning. And yes, the comedy is a little bit childish, but I still love it. It's uh, it's quite British. Ah, hands up! Who's there? Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? It's traditional. A well-established ritual 
of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now please put your hands up. Holds on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, alright? Okay, okay. I also know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you just... Oh, bugger. The wizards of Unseen University must fulfill their Apologies if I um, got disconnected briefly there. We seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? How? Leave the how up to you. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? That may be the only time that he actually gets his name correct. Not sure how long the stream was down for then. Uh, apologies if you missed uh, part of the Discworld or Five, part of this. Four, three, I'm guessing this is Assault Rix, but <laughs> I wasn't paying attention when it one, came on. I'm pretty sure it will be. Zero. is indeed. Music's pretty funky.
think I did briefly play this game. Not sure if I actually enjoyed it, truth be told. I think the only game we haven't seen... Oh no, we haven't seen Lemmings or Wipeout yet, so... Let's see if either of those two have got a, um, a track mode. And we haven't seen the sound to light either, but that's probably not a demo. Is. So I'm surprised this has got a track mode because I thought this would be a way to convert music into sounds, uh, into pictures. This is what visualizers look like in the mid 90s. <laughs> Quite trippy. Who knows what um, crazy drugs they were on at Cygnosis when they did this. And if you know uh, much about the PlayStation history in the UK, um, drugs were quite a popular part of it. <laughs> it became quite big on the underground scene where there was lots of uh, ecstasy being taken in the mid 90s. I was far too young to be involved in all of that. But yes, um, definitely got a very popular reputation at that point. Especially games like Wipeout, which uh, had a lot of music from that scene. This is 3D Lemons again. This is listed on the front of the cover as having playable levels. So we'll see what the um, rolling demo is on this first. I did have this game. Uh, I think I completed it actually. It's surprising for a Lemmings game, but it's a heck of a lot easier than 2D Lemmings. But I do like Lemmings games. It's the sort of puzzle game I enjoy. Jelly Belly.
is this all this rolling demo is going to be? <laughs> the uh, the menu. It is a bit strange that they put in track mode on a demo disc. I guess they expected this to be in um, in shop fronts. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. Where's the music? Uh -huh. So this is 3D Lemons if you've uh -huh. never seen it before. And I don't actually remember the Jelly Belly sponsorship of this. brief appearances this is going to have before it kicks back to the menu. Hopefully not too many because I actually want to play some games at some point. I've <laughs> been watching videos for about, well, coming up to half an hour now. As enjoyable as that is, I do want to play some games too. I've got a feeling Discworld might take up a very large percentage of this, uh, of this experience today. So I do love that game and I like to explore every nook and cranny. Turned his first two into climbers. I guess we won't see much okay. more of that. Mm. Quite looking forward to playing that one as well, actually. <laughs> hey. Definitely wouldn't mind getting uh, 3D Lemmings again and playing through uh, a few of the levels of it. In fact, I'd like to play through all the Lemmings games again. Definitely my sort of game. Guess we're going back to the menu. Or not. It's not doing anything. I'll give it a few minutes. If it doesn't do anything, I'll reboot. So anyway, like I say, um, I'm hoping to make this a ongoing series. Um, have about 80 of these discs. Uh, all of them are the official UK PlayStation magazine discs. Uh, there is a few other discs I've got from other magazines just in the in the collection of demo discs. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I just really enjoy demos. I suppose it's just a small amount of time you have to put into a game and if it's a good demo you end up buying that game. Anyway it looks like this disc's not rebooting now so let me reset the PlayStation. Doesn't that bring back great memories? Ah, love that boot up sound. Anyway, we'll play the last video of Wipeout, and then I'll start playing some games. Uh, 
I played both of the first two wipeouts, 2097 I owned for a while. I think it's got a different name in America. I can't remember what it is. But it's uh, 2097 over here. But this is the first wipeout game. I suppose the most similar to kart racing games. I.e. Mario Kart. Yeah, the graphics aren't too bad on this. I mean, so besides the draw distances, it doesn't hold up terribly. I've certainly seen ugly PlayStation games for it that way. Sure, what that um, word is that keeps being uttered. That might be the end of that demo. Cool, right, let's uh, get onto one of the playable games then. Um, so let's start with Nova Storm. Let's see what this is all about. I think this is one of the games that doesn't work when you play it on PS3. So let's hope it works through my original PlayStation here. Very quiet boot sequence. Yep. Let's just find out what all this means. See what's going on. I guess just keep moving. Okay. I'll try. 
Oh, is it kicking me back out? I was going to say I'll try that again if it's kicking me back to the menu. Oh, one more time. Let's see if we can get a bit further. Hmm. I think it's just two buttons as far as I can tell. This is another good thing about demo discs. I've just saved myself a bit of money in buying that game because there is no way I would enjoy that game or purchase that game. I'm just going to turn the sound down a little bit. Um, so next, let's play. Let's do Discworld. I know I enjoy this game, so I may be on this for a little while. Maybe the rest of the stream. <laughs> we will see. Uh, just because it crashed last time during the intro, I'm going to let the intro play again. If you did manage to see it all last time, um, just skip ahead a little bit. It's not going to play the intro. Interesting. So there's the fly from the intro. About to go inside Rinswin's mouth. And she, she then chokes on. Rinswin! Rinswin! Wake up! The Arch Chancellor wants to see you! And the fly is now stuck in the little spider web down there. And there you go. A rather convoluted way to give you a cursor. <laughs> um, let me just figure out the buttons for this. That's the nice, very inventory. Please, don't stare. I'm, I'm rather shy. So that might be a descriptory. Let's try it on the hmm. diploma. Unseen University, Thermaturgy 101, failed. Well, it's not little trinkets and paperwork that really count in life. I've got, got, well, I've got a really pointy hat. That's a start. It's not that pointy, Rinswind. <laughs> get, get that off me, it tickles. 
I really must do some heavy research into this bed. Eight or nine solid hours should be sufficient. Um, and I think if I press this one, oh no, that doesn't. Work. There we go. There's the noise you'll be hearing a lot throughout this game. As you click on everything, that doesn't work. And you figure that nothing works. Yes, a mysterious shape, a sinister shape, a shape fraught with, with, shapeness. It must be a plot element, otherwise there'd be a better label. Very true. That doesn't work. No, it doesn't. In fact, <laughs> I might just stop pressing that. I think I know most of the bits that... This sodding thing hasn't got a doorknob! ...you can interact with, such as this. It's my money pouch, all right. Now, if I only had more of the fillings... Put that into rinse wind. Come on, money. A snoring chest? That's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. Yes, it's definitely an open wardrobe. A fine example, if I may say so. Right up here. Got the door. I think it's a spider web. Aha! And yes. Portalis Exitus. Or the common doorway. See? I, I'm not a wizard for nothing, you know. I am one of these people who plays graphic adventure games and clicks on everything, so if you don't like that, you're not, not gonna like this video. Portalis. See? I'm not a wizard for nothing, you know. Yeah, yeah, just walk through it. How do you walk? There we go. Very strangely, it doesn't seem to use the X button so far. Um Circle oops. Please, oh. don't stare. Circle is the descript descriptive button. Let's see. I think that one's my room. Uh, and then triangle seems to be the action button. Uh, square Square movement? Yeah, square's movement also seems to bring up your inventory. So yeah. Odd set of buttons really. Um, was there anything up here? I should really should I check up here first? Can you go over here? No. Okay, there's nothing up here. Let's go down. And of course with these games, the very last thing you want to do is go to where you actually meant to go. Yes, well, art criticism was never a strong point of the University Trust. That doesn't work. Ugh, I need to stop pressing that button. Let's go in... Oh, oh I want to hear the description of it first. I'll go on the way out. Here we go. The dinner hall. An old wizard who grew a beard mostly because shaving cream costs tuppence a bang. Ah, let's see. Wildebeest baked in a poodle's eye sauce. Newt's liver pate with pickles and cream. Ex senior angler legs in garlic butter. I do hope that door gives a clear run to the latrine. Carcass. Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. <laughs> All right. Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought... Yeah, it's not going to go again. Uh, walk further this way. Yet another bearded old wizard. Yes. Oh, that effect bouncing everywhere just destroys the frame rate. Bearded old wizard. Bearded old wizards everywhere, eh? And this is one of my favourite characters. Windlepoons. A very, very aged old wizard with a beard used mainly for collecting tobacco stains. And he has this thing. 
Hmm, long, wooden, clearly quite magical. Here, it's got a knob on the end. Which we may need later on in this. This is a senior wrangler. Would you believe he gets a full tenure for this? And here's a gun. You know, I've always wanted to ring one of these. I don't think you can, though. That doesn't work. Yes. Can you talk to this chap? Uh, oh, come on. There we go. Try talk to Senior Wrangler. I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. There you go. Now, here's a conversation and a half. Hey! A girl. What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl. Why are you, why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. I knew a girl who was a dress once. Splendid house. Very good at pickling. Very good at pickling eels. Uh, pickles. And uh, just so you know what these are, I'll do a descriptive over them. Useful for exchanging pleasantries with somebody. Useful for inflicting irony, sarcasm and bad jokes on people. Useful as a means of getting an answer. Useful for venting frustration and anger. But the way I play this game, I just start the first one and move my way around till I've well, I want to had all of them. Too, of course. Of course? Well, why are you of course? A fellow like you, you ought to be out and about, exploring a world of adventure. Why with a new, a new dickens? Look, I am out and about. Well, you can't be too good at it if you're already off course, young air freshener. Look, no one's off course. I just use the phrase as a pleasantry, a manner of address. Eh, hey, dear. Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickled? Who's pickled? No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. What? Well, they were wonderful pickles. Now, how dare you cast me in, in, in aspersions on them? Um, 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 have you lost it? What were we talking about again? Um, pickles? What's pickled? What? What? What do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled elves? Damn their ears. I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. No, no, pickles, not pickled. Pickles? Or a private kitchen? Get out. Stop wasting my time. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah, that's just the point. No young twerps like you would be they you come in here. Rubbish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. Steal? Now do I look like a thief? My stick. Uh, they all want my magic stick. Well, well you can't have it. So be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. No, no, look. I don't want your wretched stick. So, so it's the pickles you're after then, is it? Mm, you devilish young trouser. Well, I, I'm on to you, you know. I'm on to you, you young bookcase. Now look, this is not the problem that I wanted to address. Look, I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Sense? Perfumes? Well, I'll not have it. But no, sir, I won't. Dallying with women folk on the premises is against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathroom, I had you defrocked for this. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly! What? Well, uh, how can you be a man of the world if you never sample the finer things in life? Women! Wizards says pickles! Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me! It won't do, it just won't do. Young tweezers like you coming in here and, and taking off their frocks. I will stand for this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. Pickles? Don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You're saying the hem. Why are you wearing a dress? <laughs> and we've come full circle. This seems like a good cue to seize this whole silly conversation. Ah. Uh, 
I I really like windmill poons. Don't you? So you can't see me, so I've got no face cam, but I was just sat here smiling away at that. I know it's daft, but I like it. Let's chat. Let's chat to the bursa now. So, you're the bursa. What does a bursa do exactly? Well, it's a very important job. Accounts, expenditure, occasional bouts of irrationality, the assessment of grants. Well, it sounds a bit... Well, boring, doesn't it? That's the job's main attraction by searching for stuff. These tears are for life. So, since wizards are naturally extremely long-lived, that means the only way to get promoted is to assassinate your superiors. They've been popping off like bayflies around here for some seasons. <laughs> Sometimes we've got, wait for it, more wazards than wizards. <laughs> there ain't no danger for me. I never really thought about promotion. Wazards, you see? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh well. My post is safe though. Who wants to claw their way up to the top only to become an accountant in a silly hat? Mark my words, folding trouser press. Survival is all a matter of identifying your proper niche. Preferably a niche well removed from anything anyone else finds desirable. Sound logic. So you're the, uh, the bear, sir. Oh, thank heavens. I think you've forgotten the name of someone useful. You're the first, aren't you? That's right. I do the finances, books and things, and I'm quite totally insane, you know. Any calculations you need, I'm a giant frog. But that's just accounting. Surely to hold a major position in a wizard's university, you must be able to perform magic. After all, that's what the place is all about. Magic is all very well, young sink disposal unit, but mathematics is the more powerful art. Oh, come on. You don't believe me? Very well, Mr. So-called scented furniture polish. Care to watch while I make your grant disappear? Hmm. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. He gets called a lot of strange things. Let's talk to the Dean. So look. As an ancient wizard, I mean, you know, as someone who's climbed to the very depths, is there any advice you feel you might like to pass on? I mean, a few words of guidance, perhaps to one who hopes to follow in your pointy footsteps. Ah, yes. Well, the old Eleanor wallpaper. Well, I'd say of all lessons in life, always learn to expect the unexpected. Hmm. But if I expect it, then it isn't unexpected. Eh? Well, by definition, it can't be unexpected if it actually is expected. Quite right, my boy. You're spotted. In which case, my advice to you is to always expect the expected. Exactly. I expect so. <sighs> so you're all faculty is? The giants of wizardry. This is it. This is as good as life gets. Contemplating promotion? No, I'm contemplating a change of career. Oops, there we go. Listen, one thing I've always meant to ask. These, uh, these dresses we wear, are they, um, are they strictly necessary? The robes, lad, are symbolic of our dedication. You see, this is not so much a calling and a profession as a condition of mind. By wearing long robes, we imply a somnambulistic state, an attitude in which we walk dreamily through this world with our minds occupied by higher things. Like, like, say, as high as this hat. Well, the hat, too. It's point it employs luxuries of tots. Or it might imply that we should have let our mothers keep on dressing us. What's more, it keeps young whippersnappers like you from running off. Eh? Did you want to walk the streets looking like a refugee from a somewhat suspicious place of factor? Point taken. <laughs> Is this all you do all day? Just sit and make a public nuisance of yourself? I'm reserving my powers. What powers? 
Excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Oh, blimey. And there's one more wizard to chat to. Who, what's that say? Conjurer in recent runes. Oh, lecturer. That makes more sense, not conjurer. Good day, sirs. Is it? <laughs> so you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market? You're off again. Pass the dry hills. Laugh away, old boy valve. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of deserving elderly. Dragons. Dragons in the town. Like this soul. Ha! Swamp dragon teammates? No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. I think there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, but they don't believe in me. So we both have Another busy day in the faculty, gentlemen? We are cogitating. Oh, I thought I heard that right, said in a knowing tone of voice, man, man. <laughs> cogitating, my lad, is that process by which the boys make space inside their minds for more ideas. You make more space for ideas by sitting on your backside, sipping a cup of milky tea. Hit him. Hit him. My boy, ideas are normally sold by volume, not by weight. It's best to let them settle so you can find more room in the top. We have wisdom and you do not. For instance, this is the action of a clever man. Yes, the monkey gag is a recurring, very recurring theme. Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? Well, don't be an idiot boy, just look for the palace. Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? Oh yes, but he's a mean man with a word. Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you, and for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to... Irony. Irony. That's this place always have to be this way. What way? Well, this way. It's chaos. It's, it's undiscipline. It's as if I'm thrashing about in a sea of questions, like like I'm screaming out against soul-destroying winds. Isn't that a mixed metaphor? I mean, there are times when I dream about just shaking this place by the neck until it starts talking sense. I have one like that too. What, really? Oh, yes. In one magic moment, I stride like an intellectual giant across the rooftops of the world, slicing through the Gordian what's his name of fuzzy thinking for all time. And then I have this other terrific dream that I'm being smothered in fruit yogurt and sucked up inside a queen. Thankfully, that's not my problem. So far, anyway, we can but out. Right, you on And that's enough of those um, fellows. I hope there's a clear run to the latrines. I know they're not. The human's not to everyone's taste, but damn, I love it, and I'm going to play through it and enjoy this experience for as long as I can. So if we go down here, we have the kitchen. Oh, yes, I was going to see what he says about the dining room. Don't go in. There's teeth marks all over this one. Must be the dining room. Just, just, just go downstairs, please. Thank you. Let's see what it says about the kitchen. That one must 
to the broom closet. Yes, quite. And there's only one character in here, so I'm not going to take quite as long. But let's have a look around. Ah, so it was ice cream for dinner yesterday, eh? There's the cook. Well, he's cooking food. I suppose that means we have to call him a cook. He has this thing here that I think we need later on. I can't fully remember, to be honest. Um, is that everything in here? Oh god, the frame rate is so painful. Right, let's just let's just talk to him. Excuse me. Well, could I ask you some questions? Clear off! There's no magic in the kitchen! One more spell goes off in this place, and I'm going to complain to the arch -partner. So I'll chat with him then. Are you always this surly? Not always. I even know a jolly joke. Really? Yes. What's ugly, hollow, and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? You'll hear that a lot as well, if you ever play this. Well, that's a fine skill to have. Your parents must be very proud of you. Actually, I was going to become a wizard, but they found out my parents were married. Fascinating. How many of your pancakes get lost? What? From here? From my frying pan? You don't seem to realize the gravity of your accusation. Twenty-seven years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice, I've got top marks for basic living, left hand and right, and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake sacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? Two percent. Clear off. This is the worst kitchen I've ever seen. It would be worse if there were worse. What's worst? It's a what thing? Uh, a sausage. Worst sausage? No, if you want the worst sausage, try dibblers. Oh, that's to be pans, is it? Just watch the pancakes for a while, it's very soothing. Oh, I'll catch you later then. This is a punny game. I don't think I missed anything in there. There's a couple more rooms on this floor. Uh, I think. Yes. Well, now, this door's all sticky. Why does it smell of fruit? It's because of our lovely librarian. this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Ah. <laughs> hmm. Sex magic. No wonder it's on ice. What else we got in here? There's books up here. No. It's the way out. Got the librarian, of course. Careful what you say. Actually, on close examination, this would seem to be some sort of subtropical arboreal ape. A magical accident in the library turned the librarian into an orangutan. He has since resisted all efforts to turn him back, much preferring the hand long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in public. Thank you. Must come in handy, stacked with all the latest monkey accessories. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? 
Uh, yes, we'll definitely be seeing a lot of that. Uh, let's just go over here. Have a look at this book. Ye illustrious tome of levitation. Ooh. Got a bit of missing dialogue there. Oh dear. There's little pamphlets living in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amusing. Oh, ropes. Reminds me of my old auntie's bedroom. What else we got over here besides that shifty looking guy? Sleazy. Let's talk to Sleazy guy. Banana. Let's have a look at the banana first. A golden banana? Mm. Let's chat with this guy. Yes, I think perhaps our best move would be to keep slightly upwind of this one. Well, that can keep out of arm's reach. No, oh, maybe you can't chat to him then. That doesn't work. Can't steal his banana either. That will be a riddle for later. Maybe not in this demo though. This is a very long demo. Admittedly, I'm making it longer by listening to every bit of dialogue, but it's still quite impressive. Now let's chat to the librarian. Prepare for pain. Actually, on close examination, this would seem to be some sort of subtropical arboreal ape. Oops, yes. Done all that, sorry. Skip that. Yeah. There we go. Hello? Oh, you're not in charge here, are you? Oh, I see. Well, that explains the farming system. Look, um, I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see. Oh, yes. Well, it, it's hard to explain, really. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hi! Do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Yes, he really doesn't like that word. May I take a book from the library, please? Ooh, ooh, excuse me? Ooh, ooh, I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Ooh, ooh. Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? Ooh. A dentist? Panitosis? You want, you want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Ooh. Oh! A library card! Why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now look, unfortunately, I don't have one. Ooh. A, a, a pun. Yeah, upon my person. Yes, upon my person. I didn't say monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey! Whose monkey is this? Oh dear. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to seize this whole silly conversation. Hey dear, hey dear, me. Jack, who's been messing with this? It was an entrance when I came in. <laughs> Was it? I think this one needs to the Arch Chancellor. <laughs> Shells. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, yes, now, don't rush me. Ow! 
Yes, thought so. They're shelves. Ah, looks like a witch transportation device. One of the older models, I presume. I'm going to need this. Can I take it now? I can. Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. That doesn't work. Oh. I can't remember what you do with that. Oh well, come back to this bit. Large, flat. Hmm. There's a handle of some sort in the middle. It may just be a wild guess, but I'm willing to bet that this is a door. Get out. Just chat with a statue. Well, look at a statue. Oh! Well, this one's not a statue. I think this one used to be a frog out in the garden. Ah, oh, well, he never should have asked to be turned into a handsome plinth. <laughs> that deserves a, uh, a drum roll, really. But, um, shh. That sort of thing. It's not called a drum roll. What is that called? Let's go over here. Go into the Arch Chancellor's room. Oh, sorry, I'm all lost now. Can't actually remember what ends this demo. I guess maybe leaving the Unseen University. If it is young Ridswind, come we need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, uh, dragon? I in the uh, classic car breathing, city toasting. Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaling bay like a shiny object that speaks of And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen universe is properly represented in the intent to dispose of it. If some yoke simply slays the vegetable without our head, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big villains. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man who sees them Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten good of them. Do you follow me? Not me. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sobby thinking around here. Run down the library and fetch me a copy of Tetherwinkle's incessant interview from Dragon's Villainers. Once you've read that, you'll know how to track the scaly lighter down. You see here, standing around like something on my genie. Do it now! Okay, let's have a look around this place. Ooh, sparklies! <laughs> Don't know why that amuses me so much. Golden Fingers. Must be good to be dark, Chancellor. Sparklies! Ah, now, with a death like that, a man can really defer some serious questions. As far as leaders go, the only reason I follow him in the battle is out of curiosity. You see here, sending around like something unhygienic. Run down the library and fetch me a copy of Tetherwinkle's precise interview from Dragon's Villainers. Once you've read that, we'll know how to track the same lighter down. Do it now! Do it now. Uh, okay. No exit description. Uh, is there anything else up here? 
I don't think so. Uh, one thing I want to do, I think I can do it now, is to go get luggage. And get up back up to my room. Into the room. Okay. I think I can use this broom to wake up. Straw tied to a stick. Missing a bit of dialogue again. But the problem is it's not so much, much having the power as having the Interesting. That doesn't work. Uh, I don't pick it up. Oh, there we go. Let's try that. No, this one. Else. Who's got banana in him? Hmm. Fruit with its own wrappings. think enables me to get the thing for the arch chancellor so let's go down to the library get with this chap again actually no, oh, not this again. Wrong button. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, A conversation topic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tone called Hanger Winkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Letters? <laughs> I see. <laughs> So let's try that. Banana. That doesn't work. <sighs> Wrong button. Banana. Give it to librarian. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Fenner Winkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Letters? size compendium of dragon's lands. Detect dragons from a comfortable distance or your money back. Wonderful. Let's 
get out of this place. I know there's some stuff we can do outside, but let's see what we can do in here first. Again, I don't really know when this demo's going to end. It seems to be going on for a very long time. Let's see how much we can do. Let's walk over here. Oh, sorry, I'm all up now. Oops, wrong button. No, no, it's all going wrong. There we go. As far as leaders go, the only reason I follow him in the battle is out of curiosity. Oh, yes, we need to give. Oops. Oh right, I can actually look in the book. That doesn't work. I can't make head nor tail of these rooms. Is that the same problem? I can't make head nor yes. So we need the uh, Chancellor to tell us what everything is first. How do I get out of this screen? Buttons. Ah. Do I just talk to him? You're still here. No. Rut? No. What? No. No. Okay. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Good lad, Rayquil. Bring it to me, sir. We now have the form to construct frequent ventures and never failing dragon snare ruler. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and track it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, son? Really? Well, could it be? That'd be easier to play. You've got a good firm grasp of facts. I like that, you know, wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I will see that your performance gives more to the attention of the university more when we review your draft next We may only be part of this Sir, have I ever told you my ambition to be a yak? It could be arranged with Swift. Just ask the librarian. <laughs> now we can move on. We need a star of tumultuous tobacco. A spiral of never failing induction. A miniature creature of acceptable shivers. And a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Ah, oh, is that all? Well, uh. A sudden breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go! Okay. That doesn't work. I'll put that back in my inventory, I think. Oh no, let's put in the luggage as inventory. I don't think it makes any difference. I think we might be able to get one of these ingredients already. Oops, oops, too far. No, can't come back. I think we can get the stuff. Let's just have a look at this book. Luggage, stay still. So I think we can read this now, yes. Um. A miniature creature of excitable jitters. Dragon's breath? Look! A spiral of never failing induction. A container made of the strongest ferrous metal. A staff of tumultuous thermoturgy. So let's see if we can get the staff of tumultuous thermoturgy. Okay, letters. And if I've got the right things. It has been a while since I've played this. Fair few years. 
but I believe you'll have to steal it from this my one of my favorite characters over here I believe in order to do so I have to swap it with this broom I think uh, I think that's correct let's give it a go now get out of the way Rincewind go back over there Yeah, we have our stuff. Put that in luggage. Easy peasy. Now you get to see what happens when he tries to uh, do his magic things. Go on. Go on. No, he's not going to do it now, is he? Maybe I'm misremembering, or maybe it's not in the demo. I thought when he tries to blow it, he can't do it now. Oh well, onwards. I think we can just give that straight to the Arch Chancellor. Let's try. To the curtains. Come here, luggage. That was easy. Um, Alright. Don't think we can get anything else in the Insane Universe, so let's go outside. Now there is a, you can get the pan from in here, but we need a butterfly net first, I think. Where's the outside? There it is. Ah, now this one, this one I know like the back of my hand. The good old library door. Number two. Ha-ha! Good old unseen you. I wonder if the rules of this side keep what's outside from getting in, or what's inside from getting out. Quite frankly, I think I'll be led up the garden path. <laughs> Another one of those doors without handles. Tradesman's entrance, I presume. I wonder what we traded it for. New improved wonder grow. Grows anything. New instant formula. Hmm. Can you take that? I can. Aha! My trusty luggage. Oops, sorry luggage. I meant to put it inside you, not just click on you. Fertilizer. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Maybe not in this demo. Illumination is a fine thing. I wish I could see in. Need some ladders for that, my friend. Ah, an exit. Always handy just to keep one around. <laughs> Let's come chat to the apprentice wizard. Good grief! I thought the apprentices were all kept tied to stakes. What's this thing? Prunes, finest quality, extra dark old bowel buster. Yeah. Lily Bond. Actually, it's been a while since I had a bath. But where's the doorknob then? How can you have a door this big without a knob? Uh, yes, let's talk to the wizard. How do you open the gate? They've changed 
changed the what's name. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. Useful for exchanging pleasantries with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah, weather. Since classes in wind whistling, rain making, and lightning throwing are all scheduled for today, I think that's being a wee bit premature. So, this is it. You just, you just sang me all day, getting away for eating prunes. Certainly. Someone's got to do it. It's a plum job. See if you did the... The hand wriggles, please. Yeah. Yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle them like this. Like this. Senior Wrangler in the making. Stick him in luggage. Oi, oi, luggage, come back here. Luggage. What does it say about the frog? Definite senior Wrangler potential in this slippery little blighter. How about this one? New improved wonder grow. Grows anything. New instant formula. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I think that might be the end of the demo, you know. I can't think of anything else we could do in this section. Let's have a look at the door. But where's the doorknob then? How can you have a door this big without a knob? And that is the last part, I think, of this demo. Maybe I'll do a full let's play on that at some point, just because I really like that game. But that's it for... Uh... Oh right, I've actually got credits. I'll let the credits roll. Um, yeah, let me know if you've, if you've played Discworld and you like it as much as I do. Um, this demo disc is possibly the longest I've ever played on a demo disc. Well. No, that's probably not true actually. The amount of games I used to play uh, on the demo disc over and over and over again back in the day. Uh, like I say, it used to be my main form of entertainment on my PlayStation. Anyway, one more demo to play on here, I think, which is Lemmings. And then that'll, that'll do for today. <laughs> I managed to get through a single demo disc on this session. Uh, so let's try 3D Lemmings.
Not sure how long this one will be. So we've been streaming for just over an hour and a half now. And we've nearly finished official PlayStation Magazine disc one. I think the rest of them will be a lot, lot quicker than this. The original Gourmet Jelly Bean. Okay. Oh my goodness, uh, okay. Careful, okay, that just moves the camera, that moves the cursor. Select is R1, and you change your skills with the back two buttons. Okay. Play. Level one, that's right. So let's pause it first, have a look at the level. I think you can do uh oh there we go. Okay, so that looks very high, probably too high for them to survive. So what we got? Uh, diggers? Diggers and blockers. And parachutists. How many lemons? We've got 70. Okay, so I want to dig through around about here. Probably the same again, halfway through here. Then I should be fine to just go down to the ground. How do I go up and down? No, I don't think it'll matter too much. Um, am I going to need blockers? How many do I have to save? It hasn't said. I'm going to try it without blockers to start with. Oh, it's the ones that go past. Oh, it's quite a fast release for it. Potentially save the ones going past anyway. Let's get digger around here, I think. Oh, oh. didn't do it quite as quickly as I thought it would. You, you can be a floater. Ah, you're going to walk off the edge. Damn, it's still too high. Okay. Let's just. Bomb them. Wow, that's an eye. <laughs> I'm going to turn that down a little bit. It's very loud. Okay, I'll try that again. Yeah, no, no, no. Right, so I need to do it a bit earlier this time. I didn't realise it took a few steps afterwards. Okay. What? Oh, it replays your last go, I guess. Alright, so let's try again. See if we can get it about here. Okay. Turn this one into a floater. Okay. I'm 
probably going to need a blocker over this side just to save a couple of them. Oh, I'm still dying. Oh, that's better. That's fine. Uh, let's use another digger here. Let's use the blocker here. Ah, oh, this is difficult. Get all, all these ones into floaters. Got one going the wrong way, but he's gonna die anyway, so that's not a problem. I think that is that's good. Is this cameras? Ah, oh. <laughs> it's a cool camera. Okay. We're all gonna make a, a rocket. Virtual lemming. Oh, okay. Virtual lemming. Okay. Oops, yeah, I just turned one into a digger. I think I might have just fucked it. Oh that's no, okay. Whoa. Oh, good. Ta -ta. Bye. There's only one left. It's gonna go pop. Okay. I needed seventy. Oh wow. Blimbing. Next level. Wonder how many levels we get on this demo. The bean machine. Okay. Let's give it a go. That's where they're coming out. Okay, they're coming out that way. So they're walking forward. Oh, I think this one was on one of the earlier demos we looked at. Uh, how do I spin this up? Oh, I see. Okay. So on that demo, it made him climb up here. Where's the exit? It's inside that cake. I think it's inside that cake. I think that's the exit. And what have I got? I've got builders. I've literally just got builders. Wow. Okay. So when they get to that, they will bounce off there. Oh, okay. And then they just walk against that. And then I need to build upwards. Right. I think I've got this. Um, okay. In fact, let me just see how far away this is. Can I, how do I make my camera go down? Oh, it's there. It's friggin' birthday cakes in the way. Sorry, I'm probably making this way more complicated than it needs to. It needs to be. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at it from this side. Ugh. Yeah, I can't really see what I'm doing. Let's just start a builder and hope for the best. So maybe about here. Distinct lack of music on this. Yes, that's good. Okay. So now they're going to bounce off this wall. Onto this wall. Now I just need to build another one. I can do this, I think. Let's 
one like spare builder. Or do I have to go all the way up there maybe? Let's do the builder about here just to be safe. Not you. You. Ooh, that might be a bit close. Oh, I've lost one because he's going to go back down there and die. Do I need another? Let's do another just in case. Um, don't build too high, fella. Where's that other one gone? He's, he's going to die, isn't he? Gonna walk off the edge. There's not much you can do about that. Let's increase the output. They all coming out. Oh, oh dear. Can I speed it up? Is this speed up? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Barely see the steps. Yeah, I do actually rhythm when I play 3D Lemons again. Need a 20. Is it going to be another level? Or is that, is that my lot? No. Oh. Lemmings inside. Let's give this one a go. I'm overrunning my schedule here. It's meant to be done by 9. Oh well. Okay, so they're coming out that way. Right, let's have a look at where they're going to be going. So he's just going to walk straight into that, isn't it? What have I got? Oh my god, I've got all sorts. So that's a blocker. That's a turner. Um, okay. So turners are obviously unique to 3D lemmings to get people to turn around corners. Where's the exit? Must be further up. Is it around the back of the monitor? Um, oh, is that it? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it is. even further up. Can't see anything else. Let's look at the cameras. I guess it must be the back of the monitor. Do I have a builder? I've got three builders. There's nothing in the back of the keyboard, no. Okay. So I don't get to the back of that monitor. Hmm. So I can walk over here. I can punch through the mouse. I can use a turner, potentially another turner, a builder. How many turners I've got? Four. Builder will get me up there. I need two more turners then to get inside that. Okay, let's try that. Um, Basher, yeah, that's right. Ooh.
not sure how you set which way the turners turn. Maybe they just turn one way. Let's put it here. Oh. Okay, that's not working. Ah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, you have to click it twice to turn. And then I want another turner. About. Oops. About here. Might work. Builder. From here. Okay, that looks good. Let me just pause it. Let's spin it round. Okay, so two more turners. Hopefully, I'm in them. If that is, it, in fact, the exit. Turn the camera. Nope, not that way. Oops, too far. Hello. Oh wait. Oh, they can't stand on that. Ah, oh, I need to go the other way. Ah, I fucked it. Um, I don't think I can get the other way now with just one turn left. Damn it! Alright, let's pop this one and start again. I think it was most of the way there, I just need to go around the other side of the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that again. I think this bit worked. Need to be a bit quicker on the turner. I really missed the music. Spin this around a little bit. Yeeks. Go. Um, I want one around here. Let's get around the other side of the monitor. That's one that bounced back. Turn it here, there. And builder. Which we want around. Here. Let's go up a bit. Zoom out, cross. That's about right. Another turner. You want to be there. And then another turner. Uh oh. There we go, I think. I get it in time. Spin this round. No, wrong way. Yes! Wonderful. Excellent. Let's get a virtual lemon. No, that's right. Unpause it. Let's get this guy. This is my route to success. Hey. I like the virtual lemons. Uh, let's speed it up a bit. Now I'll have to bomb the uh, all the turners. Hey. Reach my target. Cool. That was the last of them. Let's, uh, yeah, let's bomb them.
Brixie. See if there's any more levels. It's already been quite generous. Oh my god, there's another level. Oh no, more pyramids. Wow, this demo disc is really... <laughs> it's got a lot of demo content on it. I'm well over my allotted time slot here. So my girlfriend might kick my ass, but we'll see. Um, okay, so we're bouncing straight onto a oh, wrong thing. Oh my god, this level's huge. Right. So we're bouncing onto that, which then oop, leads us up some steps by the look of things. Yep. So let me go up some steps there. Is that a trap? I'm not sure if that's a trap or just the way it just like lighting effects. Okay, so as it stands, we'll fall off the edge there. We've got some turners. I think we're probably meant to turn. Um, okay. Um, so what's that? that leads up there for some reason. Oh, maybe we're meant to turn that way. Lots of different turny ways over there. So let's find out where this. So this leads across a bridge and leads to this, which bounces off that. Oh, these camera angles. Um, which then bounces across there. Which then what? Just walks back into the bridge? Oh no, it goes into traps and kills them. Okay, so let's not do that. Where's the exit? Let's find the exit. So that's the exit. Okay. I'm guessing we can't walk on the sand, otherwise that would just be too easy. Yeah, it looks like it. So if we go on the sand, we're dead, I reckon. So we'll go up there, through here. Oh. Stuck. We need to get onto that bridge. How do we get onto that bridge? It's around there. So we can't go through there because that leads to the sand. So we need to get onto this bridge. Bounce off there. Um, what's this? Minor. Hmm. I think we just have to just have to wing it. I think. Try it out and uh, do a bit of trial and error. So we're gonna go through there to start with. I want to get onto this bridge. How do I do that? I need a turner, a turner. Do we have builders? I've got one builder. <sighs> this one looks very difficult, or I'm just making it look very difficult. I'm about to completely skip that and just turn early. And then try build up there. Try that first, see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll restart it. Oh, no. Ah, oh, there. Bollocks, missed the first one. Ah, oh, man, I'm screwing this up already. Ah, I've only got one builder. Yeah, you're all dead. Start again. Don't think that'll work. I don't think you can build far enough. Try it 
try again. Get into position. Let's try this one more time. I don't know if it's the right way to do it. Seems like a good way to get into the bridge. I get up both sets. Come on. Come on, baby. Now, uh, I'm just going to drown. I'm not going to start building the reset earlier. Oh, we've got a basher. Well, that would be helpful at all. Hmm. Not sure. I'm going to start trying building one set earlier. Yeah, yeah. Really thinking this isn't the right method, but I can try it once again. I'll try getting building one step earlier. Like now. And if that's early enough. Don't look early enough. It runs out of bricks there anyway. Let's try bashing through them, just out of curiosity. I just bashed through this step. <sighs> I'm a bit stumped on this one. Is there another way up here? Just let them drown for a bit. Japanese get on that bridge. Yeah. Stop drowning. Um, you know, I'm pretty stumped on this one, and I know I've run out of time, I've been over the two hours. I'm going to ponder on this one and potentially come back to it on my next playthrough. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to this one. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's the end of this session. Obviously, we only managed to play one demo disc, which is uh, pitiful. Um, in fact I can't come back to this can I because it's part way through the demo yeah, I really want to solve it it must be the right am I doing it the right way I can't think of another way to do it How do I get up to this level? Let's have a look around this. I 
So I can walk all the way around the bottom if I need to. And if I do that, I'd have to bridge over there. I have to put a turner in there. Wait, how many turners is that already? So that'd be one, two, three, four. Five. That'd be six turners. That's all six turners on that one pyramid if I do it that way. This, I don't need turners for this because it's going to bounce me off anyway. Can I bash through that? Mm. I'm going to need another turner there. Hmm, I dig down, I still can't get through there. So I definitely need one more turner, at least. Um, let's have a look at the end. The end just needs a basher or a miner. And it's through. this I need to try and figure this out with one less turner. So I'm going through here. Definitely need a turner at the other side of there. So that's one, two. Still six turns. Hmm. I think I might be. Oops. I think I might be a bit stumped. I've got blockers. Well, blockers help. Oh, I've got miners. Basher I need at the end. Yeah, I definitely need a basher at the end. A miner I need over there. Just one turner up. I one turner missing. Turners, damn it. One, two, hmm. I think this level's beat me, you know. And that gets onto the bridge. Then I need to. I definitely need one more turn of that. Go on the bridge. So I need to dig underneath this. Come out there. I need another turn of that. Another way around. I've only got one basher. I can 
block has come into effect. Will a blocker help? I don't think so. Hmm. I really want to figure this out. Oh, I'm missing something really simple. Let's restart level and try it the way I think. two hours on a single demo disc. That's better value for money than most games I've bought recently. Right, so if it walks into that, it's automatically going to go through there. Now when we get to the other side of there, we're going to need another turner. Uh, let's just pause it and get around here. Come on, little lemon. Okay. Okay. I need one there. We need one here. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to need. One here and then here. Okay. Okay. I need a builder. Ah, oh, get out of the way. <laughs> For here. Okay. Just to get over this. Ah, stupid camera. Let me just pause it and see where I'm going. I need another turner to get up there. This first lemon that drops. Oh, I've gone too far. Oh no, I haven't. It's okay. Or have I? Oh no! Nope. It's a quiet basher. Uh, yeah, I've already cocked this up. I still don't think it's right though. See, I want to get up here. Turn there, I get over here. Oh, I'm miscounting. One, two, three, four, five, six turners. Hmm. That's all my turners gone then. Stop drowning. Um Yeah, I'm completely stumped on this. I think I'm gonna have to Ooh, what's this? overhead. I um, think I'm going to have to call it quits I'm afraid and uh, if any of you have been watching know the solution to this one and I'm missing something really obvious which I think I am please let me know and I will endeavour to do it again. Otherwise my next video will be on disc 2 of official UK Playstation magazine and I might just come back to Layman's some other day or maybe just buy the full game and play through it all um, with you guys so anyway, that's it for today's stream. I uh, hope you enjoyed at least part of it. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.